Welcome back, guys, to episode three of the Pokemon Shield Let's Play series. We are still on the hunt for who's going to join our team, uh, first and foremost. Uh, this is not going to be one of them. But I did say if we encountered a Pokemon that we don't have, we'll go ahead and catch it so we can add it to the so we can add it to the list. So we're gonna scratch this little dude. Thank you, Goofy. Well, that sucks, but stuff happens. Uh, so I was talking to a buddy of mine, and I said, I would like it if you could challenge me. I want you to pick one Pokemon, and I will use that Pokemon when it becomes available to me in the game, and I will keep it on my team. And uh, so it's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Okay? That was simple. Okay. So he chose Dracovish. And that's one of the fossils in this game. I did not play with any of the fossils on my uh, sword playthrough because I really, really, really disliked the fossils in this game. So that's one that I would not have used. So I, I give him credit for that. And as soon as we uh, have the availability, we will add Dracovish to the team. So not entirely thrilled with it, but maybe, maybe we'll grow to love that Pokemon. But until then, we have to find number one. Well, I guess number two. Grookey's number one. Um, and we just won that battle pretty easily. Lotad's over there leveling up. You defeated Youngster Jake. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Yeah, that's what happens. Especially when I'm walking your way. Alright, so we're going to avoid those guys because we know it's just a bunch of squabbits. Got a couple potions. I see a Pokeball up there. We're gonna run and grab an item, rather. Oh, and it's actually three Pokeballs. That was perfect timing. Well, Rookie D, I didn't mean to run face first into it, but I guess we're gonna catch it anyway. Uh, so we're not gonna use Branch Poke because it's not very effective. It is a flying type flying being strong against grass, so we're going to go the other way. We're just going to scratch it a few times. Alright, now we can catch it. At least we didn't make this one faint. Those tree branches in the background coming over the house look super weird. Come on, Rookie D, join the, join the crew. By crew, I mean the box that you will inevitably be in. But you can chill in the party for now. There we go. Rookie D was caught. I do really like the Rookie D line. All the way up, what is it? Rookie D, Corva Squire, and Corva Knight. They're pretty freaking awesome. Here we go. Rookie D, tiny bird Pokemon. Jumping nimbly about, this small bodied Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. Well, that's kind of aggressive. All right, so let's run down this way. Might heal up real quick. I think we took some damage just then. There we go. Lotad and Rookie D aren't looking too hot, but that's okay. Hello. Cute and strong, together in combination. Uh, she was talking about us. Last Lauren. Chewdle, huh? That's gonna be a one-hit KO. Calling it now. All right, Grookey. Let's branch poke this fool into oblivion. Oh! It wasn't a one hit. Super effective, though. A little more like a bite than a tackle. All right, we're going to scratch to end it. And there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Grookey's level 10. Lotad's is leveling up, gaining some free levels, even though he will inevitably be uh, put to the side. I guess that's a not terrible way to say it. Another battle, huh? We could do that. Making sure I can't go anywhere. What's up, buddy? I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm going to beat you. Well, I got bad news for you because I beat Hop. You're challenged by Youngster Benjamin. Blitbug, huh? Well, 
if what happened three minutes ago is any indication of how this is going to go. Should be a cakewalk. Here we go, scratch. Let's do a gookie. Beat that fool with a stick. Struggle bug. I actually use that word far too often in my day-to-day -day life. Every time something's going on at work or if I'm having a hard time with something, I'll say that I'm, uh, I'm struggle bugging. And this is where that came from. Oh, we got another one? Okay, okay. Nick it, I'm pretty sure. Is that a, is that, is that strictly dark type? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's not fire type. Quick attack, huh? There we go. Okay. Just gonna use quick attack again? Nope. Well, that sets us up for a two move win. Sorry, Nick it. Rickety grew to level 7. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. Yeah. It's a hard life, kid. Uh, Hop's gonna judge me for not having a nice little roster accumulated. Who we got? What is that? I could catch one of those. Well, I guess I can, because if I try fishing in this little hole right here, I'm probably gonna get a magic heart. Let's try. Here we go. What did I say? Could you imagine if that would have been shiny? I'm not a fan of the shiny Magikarp, simply because throughout the game I feel like you've been given far too many red Gyarados, the shiny Gyarados. So, well, I just murdered that. I was going to catch it, but then I got too overzealous. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, if it, sh the golden Magikarp, that's kind of cool. But red Gyarados, I mean, it's overdone. You've been given too many chances with it. Who just leveled up? Was that Grookey? Because if so, its speed is awful. But that's okay. What do we got over here? I got an item. Nope. Not before we have a battle. Another one. You're just experience points at this point. Maybe it's Lotad who leveled up last time because Grookey's still level 10. Uh-oh. Lowering the defense. Okay. Setting up for a power play that you're not going to get to use. And there we go. It tried. Our rookie is leveling up. Give me this. A repel. We're probably never going to use a repel in this game, so we'll sell those two. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. This is where we get abducted. Why, Hop Deer, I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Dylan. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right Dylan? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Dylan only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads that they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well... Yeah, you're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? 
Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Dylan. Well, that's fine, because I'm going to be in here for a minute, exploring and seeing what there is to see. What's up? Are you the husband? I don't think I ever met him. Do what, do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Well, that's good advice. You're right, because I just generally water mine and they seem to die. Aw. Looks like uh, Grandma Magnolia has a trophy of her own. Maybe that's Sonya's, actually. I don't know. Beautiful paintings on the wall. Dig in the kitchen. Oh, we got an upstairs, too? Oh, Sonya's room. This is pretty cool. Got the Yamper sticker on the wall right there and her Butterfree and Zubat drawings right over there. I don't think I ever actually came up here last time. And Yamper's bone <laughs> and its little bed. Oh, my God. Oh, that's awesome. What was the map? I wonder if she had, like, specific things marked off. I'm not sure. It's a lot of books. I guess that's what you could expect from a professor. Does she move? Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon and for yourself, too. Alright, well, let's go do that. Let's go hop to it. Hurry it up, Dylan. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Working on it. Oh. Oh. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle, too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Well, hop. Mine's already started. So good luck. Come on out, Wulu. Nice to see you again. You remember Grookey, right? We're the one that beat both you and your teammate last time. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put something because I didn't finish reading in time. <laughs> We're going to go with Branch Poke. Get that stab attack boost. Ooh. Roll on over, Wulu. I like how Lee and uh, Professor Magnolia are watching in the background. That's pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and scratch it up. Sorry, Woobert. Grookey grew to level 11. Here comes Rookie D. So, ideally, I would want to switch Pokemon right here because I am at a type disadvantage, but we're going to go ahead and power through. We're going to go with the Scratch Attack because, like I said before, Branch Poke is weak. And we took out more than half health, so... Oh, that's going to be a super effective... Is he going to talk some mess right here? Nope. Scratch one more time, knock it out. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, no. Here comes Sobble. We're going to see if we can one-hit KO. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Level 8. We might get it. Let's do a Grookey. There we go. It's super effective. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. After all this time, 20 some odd years of playing, I most certainly have. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Mm. 
Dylan? Hop? Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Uh, air hand. Air hand, you obtained a letter of endorsement. You put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key item pocket. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes! Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be still young and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a little bit, little brother. I mixed up some words right there. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Dylan. Alright, Dylan. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that championship's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Uh, both are mine. Dylan, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. I. A stone found in the Gala region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive. Yes! Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gallo region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Ah, right, you've done heaps of research in the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Dylan and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering wield, and now this? It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. <laughs> Same, actually. That's probably one of my favorite things to do in the game. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to a truly start. Good morning, you two young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was this weird heavy fog and... I misclicked. Uh, Dylan tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. <laughs> Dylan, Hop, these are for you. You got a Dynamax band. Looks super cool. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Dylan. I'll beat you to the station. And off we go. Maybe we'll finally get that uh, new team member added to our party. So if I'm not mistaken, if you go behind the house, you can find a TM? Yes. 
found TM57 Payback. User stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack's power will be doubled. Some good old Resident Evil camera work right there. What do we got over here? Um, great ball. Well, that's... Oh! Bottle of fresh water. I'll take that. I don't think I found that fresh water last time. What's up, hot? One last thing before we race, Dylan. See, I've got some great advice for you. Do you? You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow-like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. <laughs> Try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Dylan. I'm gonna stop saying my name, it's so weird. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. Sounds good. Because I'm going to... Yamper? Like I said, I didn't use a Bolton, but... I don't know. I want, I want our first, like, true Pokemon slot. Wait, when do I get the option to put everything into a... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to deposit them the old-fashioned way for now. Another Yamper. Hello. Nice to see you, my friend. Oh my lord, Rookie D's gonna attack. Chewtle. Just yelled at me. Almost there. Gonna make a stop. Oh, they waved. I'll whistle. <laughs> Chewtle was like, wait, what? Come on, Dylan, you'll never... I said I was going to stop saying my name. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. Well, you're right, because you're standing right next to it. He cheated. All right. Let's go in, see if we can deposit some Pokemon. What can I help you with? Yeah, yeah, we know. See ya, Lotad. See ya, Rookie D. And let's go ahead and heal. Pretty sure I'm already healed, but, you know, this feels more immersive. We have plenty of balls, have plenty of potions, so we don't really need to buy anything right now. And plus, we need to be saving our money for more important things like clothing. So here we go. Hopping on the station with Hop. So, out with it, Dylan. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one, and you got... Not one? What were you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're a trainer. Uh, thanks. That's a technical machine. A TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. Motostoke? I'm not sure. And our train's waiting, so let's go. Onward and out. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh, Mom and Mom. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sobble as your partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. You obtained a set of camping gear. You put the set of camping gear in your bag ski item pocket. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in the wild area or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are, mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you will be. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We'll be fine. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than the train can go. 
Come on, we're off. Here we go. Tip tap, tip tap, browsing on the phones. Motostoka surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. I actually love to fish. In real life. Here we are. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we uh, stopped here for? Yes, this is the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. <laughs> What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. What is? This Wild Area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. He's right, and that's what we're going to do. This is where I feel like our first Pokemon is going to come from. Have you and Eevee had a... I knew it. You've had a Let's Go experience with Eevee, haven't you? I hope you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Eevee, too. So I, I knew this was coming. So this is technically going to be our first Pokemon given to us. I have played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee before. And if you stop and talk to those people right there, you will get whatever game that you have played. Um, so we have an Eevee now. So it says, Evolution Pokemon. Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. And no nickname. So, we are probably going to keep Eevee with us for a little while. Uh, the Eevee I gave you is special, you know. You should definitely Dynamax it. Um, is this one capable of evolving now that I'm thinking about it? I don't think you can uh, evolve that one. So let's go talk to Hibbity Hop. Uh, I was looking to see if... Oh, so you cannot evolve the free Eevee. So I had to look that up real quick. So Hop says, look at that. So maybe we will deposit that Eevee. That's Motostoke. Way off that way. I want to know how to pronounce that. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't, Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey. But what are you doing with your life? That does sound rough. Ah, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look in into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit that I've got some talent. Yikes. Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? There we go. There's the Pokemon box link. You put the Pokemon box link in your back ski item pocket, a device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it will not work. So this is cool. That's where I can essentially deposit Pokemon wherever I want to. With the Pokemon box link, you'll have the ability to put Pokemon in your team, what, from your team into your boxes, or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like, and then fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. And that it is, guys. And this will conclude episode 3. In episode 4, we find our first true partner Pokemon. 
And I'm excited to share that moment with you guys. I'm excited to find out who it's going to be. I don't know. Uh, the world is vast and full of many, many opportunities in this game. So until next time, thank you guys for checking out the content, and I'll see you in episode four.